What's up guys, Max here, and welcome to the final episode of our Monster Gas Golf Cart Build Project thing. So the golf cart is done. Uh, I've driven it around, everything is, is good. Um, I want to thank you guys who have watched all of these episodes. Uh, I appreciate the support, the comments I've gotten. Um, it's been a really fun build process, and uh, there's going to be a few spin-off videos made from this um, about different project management stuff and whatnot, and that'll come out a little bit later. But uh, I just want to say thank you again to everybody who has uh, who has been there and who has been uh, supporting. Now, a few things that need to be mentioned about the golf cart. Um, it drives really well. The biggest problem we have is I made a bit of a flub, and the flub was that because it was an electric golf cart, the rear axle ratio was something like 12 and a half or 15 to one, which means for 15 rotations of the input shaft, you get one rotation of the wheels, which is fine if you have an electric motor that spins to like 20,000 RPM, because then you have a decent gear reduction. When you have a gas motor, and I don't know what the, the Yamaha Redline's at, probably like, I don't know, 8,500 or 9,000 RPM, something like that. Um, the problem is our top speed in sixth gear is maybe 15 miles an hour. The flip side of that is we have so much gearing that this thing will pull my truck in neutral with a tow strap, it'll actually move it. Um, and, it and it's super torquey and it climbs uh, like up hills and over uh, curbs and stuff as if they're not even there. It's fantastic in that regard. The problem is it doesn't go very fast and to go very fast to hit that top speed, you're basically bouncing off the limiter so it's super loud in sixth gear. Uh, and so that's kind of a flub. You know, if you take this thing out to the ranch or whatever, you go do off-roading with it um, or use it as kind of a side-by-side -side or a work vehicle where you don't need to go that fast, it would be fantastic. And I've already put in basically a one-to-one -one drive between the engine and the rear end. Uh, meaning that there's not really any way for me to buy a smaller set of sprockets. I could probably maybe could do like one one or two teeth up on the input and um, I think I can go one tooth low smaller on the the uh, The rear end, but the problem is with that dramatic gearing in the rear axle and that big like uh, axle assembly um, There's just no real way around it other than you know removing the whole rear axle assembly and just building some sort of direct drive thing where it's got a sprocket and it's spinning just, you know, one-to-one -one like an ATV is. Um, I'm probably not gonna do that. Um, this project has already been listed for sale um, and so we'll see how that goes. Um, but it's definitely awesome to start something and build it and have it, uh, see it through to completion and have it function really well because within its limits, it does drive around really well. I, I wish there was a way for me to change that rear axle ratio. Um, there are high speed gears, but they only bump it slightly and you're talking about five, six hundred dollars worth of gears and it's not, you know, you have to take everything apart and it's just a mess. For now, the thing runs and drives great and so this video is gonna be a little montage of me driving around, doing stuff like that. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, I want to thank all of you who have watched this video and subscribed to this channel. I love you guys. It's been great. Peace.
right guys, that's a wrap. I want to thank you for watching. As always, I'm Max. This is MaxWorks. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, hit subscribe. This is the final video of the golf cart. Make sure you go back and watch the playlist. You can watch all the build from start to finish. We'll be back soon with a new build project and ready to go. Peace.